Hello everyone and welcome to the video. This has been a long time in the making. I'm actually going to be celebrating my one year post-op in a couple of short weeks. So I just wanted to put together some pictures and a couple of videos intermixed in uh, that I took during uh, the transition process for me, which was rather lengthy. I started in uh, June of 2015 and I finished with surgery my revision surgery in April of 2018. So it was quite a journey for me and the road was really long. I had quite a few pitfalls and uh, it was a really tough time. I learned who my friends were. And I learned who uh, people that really cared about me were. Uh, looking back, it was, um, it was quite a journey, but I'm glad I made it. And as far as, you know, going through surgery and transition, I have absolutely no regrets about my body, about the changes, who I am now, because basically that surgery enabled me to live authentically as my true self, and it really set me free in a lot of ways. So I hope that you enjoy the video and uh, feel free to leave comments down below. Thanks for watching.
I survived. Um, it was uh, just under six hours surgery. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to be jogging any trails for a little while. Thank you. Thank you so much. But they still nothing to eat. Right. 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 So pardon the interruptions. I've got nursing staff coming in and out. And these two wonderful, wonderful ladies who have stood by my side all day. Thank you so very much. Yeah, Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate it. Okay. Do you want to go? Yeah. Or if it's difficult. Appreciate so that. So this vlog is going to be raw. There's people coming in and out. And, uh, oh, here's the security. Oh. Uh, and I'm coming a little in and out of it. <laughs> so, thank you so much. I'm blogging. Sorry. You don't need that much oxygen. Yeah. I'll take it up later. Okay. Um, so, I guess the surgeon came out and talked to uh, uh, um, Laylee and, uh, and uh, Lara. And it went well, no complications, I guess. So I don't think I'll need a touch up surgery. It's gonna be a little while before I can take a look though. I guess I'm packed pretty good. You also didn't have to have a skin graft. And I didn't no. have to have a skin graft, so. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm alive. I have a pain control button. If uh, the pain gets to be too much, I just click it. But right now I'm okay. Um, my voice is a little hoarse. They jabbed a, a tube down my throat for breathing during the procedure, so, and I could lose my voice tomorrow. Who knows? My arm is exhausted. You're gonna have to deal with this angle. No, it's fine, it's fine. You have to deal with this angle for a bit, but I'm in hospital, it's okay. So that's where it's at. Um, all of the disgusting bitsy pieces are gone. Um, and my body is finally right. So, um, I'll try to vlog more, and I'm sure I will in the hospital, but tonight, I'm just, I'm too beat up, and I'm too tired to do anything elaborate. So, um, I'm not even going to edit this video. But anyway, I'll, uh, I'll keep you posted for everyone who sent me thoughts today. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Um, and for those of you that were talking with Layla and Laura, thanks for being patient. Alrighty, I will catch you later. Bye. Hey, hello everyone. It's Steph and it's Friday. About 6 p.m. 1800 for you military types. And I'm up at Kaiser. Oh, I think I'm recovering okay. It's been up and down and last couple of days I was dealing with fever, but I don't think I have it now. And, um, oh, just getting used to, uh, the pain and the process of my body starting to heal from such a massive surgery. Uh, my voice is going to sound funny because, uh, as part of the surgery, they intubated me with a breathing tube, um, and when that tube comes out, you get a sore throat for a couple of days. So that's what I'm dealing with now. So my my voice probably sounds a little different, but uh, I'm making it, and I'm getting a lot of help from Laylee. She's really gone the extra mile to keep me safe and make sure that the the staff are doing what they need to do to care for me. So, uh, yesterday I got to, uh, I got to look at the surgical site with a mirror and I got to see the surgeons work and it's just, uh, such a, a relief that it's over with. So much dysphoria that I had with my body below the belt is just now gone and uh, I just feel incredibly free and alive 
and authentic to myself now. So, but I'm still on a lot of medications and uh, kind of in and out of that, and in and out of sleep. And um, But I wanted to do a quick vlog today and just say hello to everyone. I think I'm gonna be here through Tuesday. So if you wanna come see me, just send me an IM or if you have Lele's information, send her a text or an IM and we can get to squared away with how to find me. But I'm at the Kaiser Main Hospital on, on Geary Boulevard. Uh, but with that said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this one short and uh, just let everybody know I'm alive and I'm still kicking. <laughs> uh, and I'll vlog again when I'm feeling up to it and keep folks posted on what's going on with me. So I'll catch you folks later. Take care. stuff and I'm in the recovery room my surgery was about two hours uh, but everything turned out okay I think uh, they've got me on some good stuff uh, Mount Diablo is the highest elevation in the East Bay and right now I'm flying way higher than that I'm on some morphine and I think Percocet. So, um, they're just calling the medical transport company to get my ride out of here. And I'm just kind of coming around. So, um, just a short vlog. Let everybody know I'm okay. I'm gonna be heading home. I'm gonna be resting a lot this weekend. So I'll catch you later, bye. So they're gonna call me back.